We know what you're thinking. How in the world does someone who makes millions of dollars go broke? While we could probably live off a million dollars for the rest of our lives, the celebs in this video needed more than their measly multi-millions. Bad financial decisions and debauchery led the majority of them to the poorhouse. Make sure to keep watching until the end to see why Kanye asked Mark Zuckerberg for $1 billion. Before some of these celebs declare bankruptcy, make sure to like this video, subscribe to The Richest, and join our notification squad. Now here you go, six famous people who lost all their money and went broke. Michael Jackson When it comes to pop music, Michael Jackson was the king of it. Even today, nearly a decade after his untimely passing, his legacy is still going strong. With 13 Grammy Awards, 26 American Music Awards, and nearly 40 Guinness World Records, you would think that he left this world super rich. But rumor has it that Michael was drowning in debt when he passed away at the ripe age of 50 back in 2009. Michael lived a very lavish lifestyle, and his financial troubles began around the same time that he started getting accused of having inappropriate relationships with minors. During his 2005 trial, a forensic accountant testified that Michael was shelling out more money than he could afford to. He was reportedly spending $20 million to $30 million more than he earned per year. Michael also faced foreclosure on his Neverland Ranch in early 2009 and was failing to make mortgage payments on a home in LA. Thankfully, the late pop singer had wealthy friends who helped to soothe his financial woes, but those wealthy friends were getting burned in the process. One of them even filed for a $7 million lawsuit after he failed to produce an album and autobiography with the millions of dollars that were given to him explicitly for those purposes. In 2006, Michael had no choice but to refinance a nearly $300 million loan from Bank of America to keep from going bankrupt. While the IRS claimed that Michael had a net worth of $434 million on the day of his expiration, his estate said he was worth a mere $2,105. But considering the king of pop pulled in $825 million in 2016, we're sure that his estate is now doing just fine. Johnny Depp Widely regarded as one of Hollywood's most versatile actors, Johnny Depp has fallen from grace in recent years. His iconic Jack Sparrow will no longer be the lead in the Pirates of the Caribbean franchise. He has been accused of domestic abuse by his ex-wife Amber Heard, and he's even been sued by his own bodyguards. And during a 2018 Rolling Stone interview that went on for 72 hours, Johnny revealed that his bank accounts are empty too. Although he's made an estimated $650 million from his successful acting career, nearly all of it is gone. Johnny blames his dire financial situation on his former managers, TMG. He even sued them for more than $25 million back in 2017. His former managers countersued, claiming that Depp's in the situation that he's in because he has a a $2 million a month compulsory spending disorder. On a list of purchases drawn up by TMG, it was revealed that Johnny was spending $200,000 a month on private travel alone. He also once spent $3 million so that he could shoot the ashes of one of his friends into the sky via a cannon, though Depp claims that the stunt cost him $5 million. He even reportedly shelled out a hefty $1.8 million a year on his security team. According to TMG's lawsuit, Johnny never had more than six months of savings in his bank account. Luckily for him, he gets paid tens of millions of dollars per roll. But what good is that if he spends it recklessly? His financial situation was so dire at the beginning of 2016 that his former managers were warning him that he only had 30 days of liquidity left. If anything, we just hope that this legal battle has taught Johnny how to shape up financially. 50 Cent 50 Cent is responsible for some great early 2000 hits like Into Club and Candy Shop. His early years were rough, and he used to sell illicit substances on the streets. But 50 Cent somehow managed to succeed despite all the obstacles set in his way. The Washington Post even estimated his personal net worth to be close to $500 million back in 2010. And his wealth didn't just come from his music career, he was also a businessman. One of the early investors in Vitamin Water, 50, reportedly made between $60 million to $100 million after the company was sold to Coca-Cola in 2007. According to papers from the U.S. Bankruptcy Court in 2015, 
Our friend 50 was making over $185,000 a month from marketing and promotional deals alone. While the majority of us don't even make that much money in five years, 50's monthly spending habits were out of control. During that time period, he was also court ordered to pay $7 million to the baby mama of one of his rivals and $18 million to headphone manufacturer Sleek Audio. All of this culminated in 50 filing for bankruptcy. According to Forbes, while his assets totaled close to $25 million in 2015, the court rulings pushed his debt to $32.5 million. But bankruptcy wasn't a big deal to 50 Cent. In a 2018 interview with The Guardian, he said, it was just me getting my discount. Reorganization isn't broke, you know? Many people actually wondered if he was taking the situation seriously enough, especially after he posted a picture of him next to piles of cash, which he claimed were prop money that spelled out the word broke. Thankfully, 50 Cent was discharged of bankruptcy after he finally paid back his millions of dollars worth of debt. Lindsay Lohan once upon a time, Lindsay Lohan was one of the hottest actresses out there, from The Parent Trap to Mean Girls to Freaky Friday. She was the star of many iconic movies. At the height of her career, it's estimated that she was worth over $7 million. Sadly, Lindsay got caught up in the very expensive world of partying and illicit substances. Back in her heyday, she reportedly spent nearly a half million dollars a year to live at the infamous Chateau Marmont where she lived for a couple of years. She probably would have stayed there longer if she wasn't convicted and banned from the hotel. This happened after she racked up an unpaid bill of $46,000. But reckless spending isn't the only way in which the actress burned through her cash. Between 2007 and 2013, Lindsay had multiple run-ins with the law. She was arrested for everything under the sun, for driving under the influence, reckless driving, possession of illicit substances, stealing, and assault. She was a classic example of a young adult who grew up with too much, too fast, and she had parents who were very lax when it came to disciplining her. Lindsay was court ordered to rehab more than a couple times, which must have cost her hundreds of thousands of dollars over the years. Plus, she was constantly paying big bucks to bail herself out of jail during that time period. In 2017, it was revealed that the actress still owed the IRS over $100,000 in taxes from the years 2010, 2014, and 2015. Charlie Sheen even once gave her a check of $100,000 to help dig her out of her financial woes. Thankfully, she seems to have turned her life around and now owns a thriving beach resort in Mykonos. Mike Tyson Mike Tyson is often made an example of to show other pro athletes what not to do with their money. He had a thriving boxing career that made him more than $400 million, but he didn't have much to show for it by the time he retired. That's because in 2003, Tyson filed for Chapter 11 bankruptcy. He spent his money on jewelry, mansions, cars, limousines, cell phones, parties, and motorcycles as if he had all the money in the world. A few months before filing for bankruptcy, Tyson picked up a $173,000 gold chain that was lined with 80 carats in diamonds. But as it turns out, he never actually paid for the piece. The Las Vegas jewelry store didn't think much of it when he left without paying because he'd been buying expensive jewelry from them for a while. In all, he claimed to be $27 million in debt. He spent $400,000 a month to maintain his lifestyle and owned tigers who lived better than most human beings. Looking back on it more than a decade later, Tyson admits that he became accustomed to making tons of money and was taken advantage of by those around him. While he's nowhere close to having the hundreds of millions of dollars that he used to own, Tyson has managed to get himself back up to an estimated net worth of $3 million. Kanye West when you think of famous people who are broke, the name Kanye West probably doesn't come to mind. Married to Kim Kardashian, who has an estimated net worth of $350 million, and still in his prime as a rapper, it's hard to believe that Kanye could be broke. But on February 14th, 2016, the rapper tweeted out that he was $53 million in personal debt. He even called upon Mark Zuckerberg to invest $1 billion into his ideas to help him in his hour of need. 
Three years prior to this tweeting spree, Kanye proposed to Kim by renting out an entire baseball stadium and hiring the Chicago Symphony Orchestra. But Kanye claims that he went into debt while trying to break into the fashion industry. His first clothing line, Pastel, ceased production after only a few months. He created a line of G-O-O-D good merchandise for his record label. He even reportedly put out $30 million for a woman's wear line that never made it to stores in 2011. Whether Kanye was telling the truth or not, he tweeted in April 2018 that he makes more money on shoes than Michael Jordan. So that must mean that he's doing better now. And that's it for six famous people who lost all their money and went broke. What would you do if you were given a million dollars? Would you spend it all like our poor famous friends, or would you invest it in your future? Thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe!